So here's the problem to be solved. A lot of people want to do demonstrations of their iPad in a video screencast, but it's almost impossible to capture a good image. Enter the application Reflection from ReflectionApp.com. Reflection allows you to mirror your iOS device's screen directly onto your Mac using a USB cable and AirPlay. It's really, really tricky. Go on over to the website to check out exactly how that part of the puzzle works. But I'm going to offer you one more trick than just telling you about this super cool app. First of all, you can see right here that I am using my iPad and I'm able to go in and out of applications and look at my folders, that kind of thing, and everything looks great. But you'll notice that you can't see me tapping. Right now I'm going to tap on entertainment again. You saw that, but you don't always see taps. Let me give you an example. Let's go into utilities. And I'm going to open up the App Store. Now I'm going to tap on Fantasy Baseball in the upper left, but watch what happens. You didn't actually see me tap that. I click search and if you were watching carefully you could see that I went backwards. I also can't move my finger around and, and actually point at anything for you. You just see the effect that I'm actually clicking on it. So let's use a little trick I just figured out. We're going to open settings and under general we're going to go to accessibility and this is the trick we're going to go uh, we're not just going to turn voiceover on we're going to turn voiceover on under triple click home and the reason to do that is voiceover is a little tricky to get used to and if you turn it on it's kind of hard to get back out of it if you don't know how to use it so we're going to go ahead and set triple click home to be voiceover let me go back so now at the bottom you can see here, well, sometimes I can show you a little bit, triple click home is set to voiceover. I'm going to go to the home button and now I'm going to hit my home button three times. Voiceover on. Landscape. Okay, now that would, get, <laughs> that would get annoying after a while. So what we're going to do is I'm going to double tap the screen with three fingers. Speech off. Okay, so now the speech is off, but you're going to gain a benefit of what I want to show you. Notice how I can move my finger around and I can show you different icons. See how every icon has a little box drawn around it. So that's a big difference that I can really highlight something without actually activating it. So now let me go up back to uh, utilities and you do have to get used to using voiceover because uh, I can't just tap it now because voiceover doesn't react that way. I have to double tap. So now let's go down into the App Store, double tap again. And now this time I'm going to be able to show you exactly what I'm pointing at. So I can point at Fantasy Baseball. I can move around here. I can go to Twiddlator Pro, down to Zombie Checkers, over to Smart Drawings. I can even highlight this description here or highlight the price. So you can see that I can give you a lot more feedback about what's going on on screen. Now this does depend on the developer to have done a good job with accessibility. Sometimes I've noticed the little boxes don't actually land on the things you're trying to read. So this might not work with every application, but I, th I think it might make screencasting a little bit better result if you use voiceover on the iPad or on the iPhone or iPod Touch when creating a screencast. So I'm going to hit triple click home one more time and it'll turn off. Thank you, and I hope you appreciated this little tip to show you how to do a screencast using Reflection App, but VoiceOver to help you highlight things on the screen.